Okay, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to have a look at the new ball from Callaway, the Chrome Soft X. New and improved. They say that this Chrome Soft X is, uh, you know, has a soft feel, high forgiveness, you know, low long game spin and then high short game spin. I, I don't know how that happens. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Something that spins with a wedge is gonna spin with a driver. But anyway, that's the claim. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Um, I've been um, using Pro V1X for probably the last 12 months or so. I'm gonna just compare this Chrome Soft X. I know there is an XLS, but I, I, I'm just running a comparison here just for, for argument's sake. Um, I have gamed it, so to speak, on the golf course today. So I'll talk about that um, during this review. It, um, I'm gonna run it, uh, hit some parts just for feel. Putts for feel only, uh, some wedges for spin, and then maybe a couple of drivers, and, and that'll be about it. But let's start off with the putting. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit some putts, doesn't matter where they go, and just try and uh, feel for sound. We've got a little mic set up near the ball, so we'll, we'll see if they can pick up any, any little differences in sound. This is the, Cal I'm gonna go like Callaway, Titleist, Callaway, Titleist, Callaway, Titleist, like that. So this is the Callaway. Definitely feels soft, that's for sure. It's the tightest. Well, that feels harder, right? Hopefully that will pick up the sound because this is a lot softer off the putter face, the Callaway. Tightest. Callaway again. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely a softer ball, the Callaway, off the putter, without a doubt, comparing the two, All right? So, not that I, I don't, um, it's a great putting display, but I, I don't, um, certainly don't really choose a ball on, on putter feel, but it's something, right? It's something to consider. The Callaway is definitely softer. I wonder if I, um, I mean, this is not Pro V1 versus Callaway, but um, while we're here, let me hit Callaway and then Pro V1. Just for a feel thing. I'm not going to run the, the spin test or anything through it. Okay, I've got that soft acoustic Pro V1. Now even the Pro V1 is a little higher acoustically as well. Callaway. Pro V1. S similar, similar, but I, I still think Callaway is a little softer than Pro V1, but certainly compared to Pro V1X, softer. All right, so as I said before, I, I use the um, Chrome Soft X today. This one hit a tree, scuffed it up on the fifth hole, hit a bad tee shot, come back out, made par, no problem. Uh, so I, I dumped it because it had hit a tree and then you lose a little bit of stuff and so I, I'm just not using that anymore. So I got another one out and used it for the remaining 13 holes. Um, I did hit a couple of wedges. It's a little bit scuffed there with the wedges. That's, you know, it's pretty normal for a premium ball. You know, when you hit some 100 meter, 54 degree gap wedge or uh, sand wedge shots, it's gonna scuff up a bit, so. The thing that I did love, and I'm hoping it's gonna show up in this test here, is that on my, my pitch shots today, my fuller wedge shots, it, the ball didn't come backwards. Now, Pro V1, it wants to start coming backwards on me. You know, particularly if I've got a little, I don't know, softer green and I hit a fuller wedge shot, it's gonna start coming backwards. So I don't love that about the Pro V1. So I'm gonna hit some Pro V1 pitches. I'll just make sure this is, this is set up. I've just listed them as Titleist and Callaway. So, so this is the Titleist. 
75 meter pitch. I got I got no uh, dots on the wedge, so I just want to see if we can get a difference in spin rate and, and potentially feel. So the Pro V1 has a pretty firm feel. And like I say, it typically wants to, uh, I mean, most of the pros love it because of the extra spin. And I understand that you want, um, you know, you want plenty of spin around the greens. For someone that's not great on the chipping like myself, you know, maybe the extra spin, I've hit them a little too far. Maybe the extra spin can help But I don't love it. I don't love to see. I don't love to see the ball coming back at me. To be honest, I'd rather. I'd rather the ball just kind of land and stop, right? So I'll just hit. Up, I don't know half a dozen or so, and just see if there's any measurable, noticeable difference in a 75 meter pitch shot in, in spin between Pro V1 and this Chrome Soft. Oh, if you've got bad shots here, you know. They're a little far, but let's hit one more. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I got the Callaway now. I'll, I'll try and hit them the same distance. You know, probably gone 80 to be fair. They've gone over the flag a little bit. Let's hit out the bottom. That's probably gonna spin a lot. Oh, she went a bit far, okay. So like I say, I, I, I hit, you know, I think I hit enough pitch shots today to make an educated guess on how this ball performs spin-wise compared to the Pro V1X. You know, is it, is it closer to the Pro V1 as far as a golf ball is concerned? Maybe. You know, maybe that's the case. Um, did I like using it today? Yes, absolutely. Thought it was great. Thought it was a nice golf ball. Do I have any complaints about Pro V1X? Yeah, maybe it does. Spin a little much for me. For my liking, just for my game. I'm not saying you know, oh, don't use that, it's too spinny. That's a ridiculous statement. Just for my personal game, right? Which is different to yours, which is different. I mean, it does, it does feel softer than Pro V1X. It, it definitely does. I'll, I'll hit a couple more. Feels a little bit softer. And so in my experience, generally speaking, I hit that a bit Kit Kat chunky. That might have to be deleted because that's not going to be an accurate, um, you know, I can't run that up against it. It's not hit well. That one I got a little thin. So it would have spun for sure. Let's try and get another one in here. You know, it's, it's not a soft ball. Don't get me wrong. It's not a soft ball. That's... But the probe one's pretty hard. So let's have a look, quick look at these numbers. All right, so statistically, pretty much no difference. Uh, Titleist Callaway, very, very similar. Titleist, a little bit more ball speed, but I did carry it another meter further. So that would kind of make sense. You know, the launch, 
were very, very similar as you can see in the graphics there. Uh, the spin was almost the same with the same consistency. So no real difference, but again, I, I just got a feeling that on these, you know, fuller wedge shots that the Callaway is probably not going to spin quite as much. That, that's my, my, just my experience, I suppose, or my experience today. So we'll hit a couple of drivers. All right, so I'll just hit a couple of drivers just to see if I can get, again, just get some feels and maybe some spin numbers. This is the Callaway. I used it today, it went very nicely. It's my gamer driver. Um, you know, I've hit quite a few balls today, so I'm not expecting any huge uh, miracles or anything here today with the driver. If I can stay over that 100 mile an hour mark, I'd be happy. That pretty good, but going a little left. See, th this is this is where you know I can get it can get precarious with my current gamer. Is that the spin can drop below two thousand? So I have to be really careful. I have to swing well because uh, if I don't, it'll go right and left really quickly. Well, certainly left. You know, it'll go left. It'll it'll duck dive on me when I get the spin below two thousand. So that one was low in the heel. Another one or two. It's a bit of user in that. That's a half a bit of a tired swing. Throw my hands at it. Don't really turn through. Still went okay. They're, I mean, they're relatively consistent. That was a nice shot. I mean, it's a nice ball. It, it feels firm without being hard. I enjoyed playing it today. The wedges didn't want to come back at me. You know, it was all ticks from me. Try to thump that. I thumped it. So there's some, uh, there's a few digits there. We'll, we'll try the tightless now. So we've got Pro V1. It's kind of my regular, although, I mean, I never seem to use anything, uh, same equipment for two rounds in a row, but it's a bit of a staple. Pro V1X, Cobra Driver, Ventus Red. I mean, that, it, it, I suppose it, it might feel you know, it feels a little firmer, so does that give me, like, a bit more distance from the firmer feel? Oh, hoochie mama. That, I smash that. Get on the green. There you go. There you go, people. On the green. That was hammered. Where did that catch on the face? Yeah, like zero, like it's zeroed out. That's, that's a money ball. Yeah, and you see, like at 2,000 spin, it's bordering on too low. But when you get it like that, I just love it. I just, you know, for someone that doesn't hit it very far, Oh, <laughs> I mean, is this just me, you know, is this just me, I don't know, the ball wasn't in the right spot, 
I don't know where I hit that, it felt a bit high on the face. But 1900, you know, spin drops. The Pro V1 again, X ball. Necked. Bad, bad shot. Bad one, bad one, bad one. It's not, a, it's not, it's not horrific, right? I mean, I'm not going to be sent to jail for hitting a bad drive. It's not the end of the world. That's my normal miss, slow heel. See so if I'm going to hit another couple of good ones. It's not bad. It's not bad. And then let's have a look at one more. I mean, it, look, it goes to show my game is pretty good, isn't it? Like, it's not a bad gamer, that's for sure. Get out there, people. LTDX, LS. Oh, oh, look out. That's that high one. With Sans Spin. No spin, surely. Yeah. See, that's hit, hit nearly like spanking in the middle. And it'll just go a little left, right? Because there's just no spin on it. 1800. I've spoken about this before. Now, did I get any of those low spinners with the Callaway? M maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'll flick it back for one sec. And just hit two more Callaway driver and see if I can get one of these low spinners because this is probably going to show that the Titleist spins less than the Callaway on a long shot. That's what I think it's going to show. Uh, but I think it, the Titleist spins more on the short shot. Okay. That's a lower spin. You can see that floating. Yes, it's gone right. It's still 240 carry. Did go right, okay, but 2-2. Yeah, okay. Well, let's have a look at the numbers. All right, so this, sh this says to me that the Titleist, I mean, same ball speed, right? Almost the same launch. Let's have a look at the club face, club face, club face. I mean, similar spots, I suppose. Did I hit the Titleist slightly higher? You know, the Titleist had a little bit more zoom zoom, maybe the club head speed. The Callaway was more efficient. You know, what do you take from that, people? Uh, the Titleist went four meters further on average and spun less. I mean, that, that was the impression I got. And maybe, maybe you know, that, that little bit of extra spin might be a nice thing for me to get those 2-2 numbers rather than 2,000. Like I'm, I'm, I'm teetering on that getting sloppy jalopy when it's, when it's too low on the spin. So um, there's the digits, people. What do you think?